Salisbury. Salisbury Chemtrail Info Day Skid. Here we are at Salisbury Cathedral. And uh, we've been, as you can see, people are lining up there for the Christmas uh, service. And we've been telling them about chemtrails. And some people are like, no, 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 thank you. Other people are, oh, I'm sure it is bad for the environment. Thank you very much. So um, we've been handing out chemtrail leaflets today to the good people of Salisbury in Wiltshire in England, southern England. We travel up, there's four of us here, yeah, Deansy from YouTube, there, and, uh, and Mark and Glenn are here. And we're handing out about 600 uh, leaflets uh, about details about chemtrails. Um, nobody knows it's going on. The people need to know. The media won't report on it. So it's our job, that's our duty actually, to tell the people that they're being poisoned by military jets, from unmarked military jets, every day around the world. So um, this building was 12.58. It was finished about 12.58. And um, we're here roughly, you know, a thousand years later trying to warn people about, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but, you know, it, it'll, it's the end of history if we don't save ourselves and stop this chemtrail um, war crime. You know, so thousands of years of, millions of years of humans being on the planet, we're now being decimated and destroyed by chemtrails and toxins in the food and vaccines and various other means, fluoride. And this is the, the major environmental catastrophe ever on the planet. So with all this history behind me, um, it's worth saving. We're a beautiful species and we need to sort of wake up fast because we're probably the last generation fit enough to do anything about it. So these are the chemtrails and this is the public. And um, I advise you to do the same if you can. Thank you. Oh, I went a bit off topic there, but there you go. <laughs> right, it's all connected, isn't it? It's all connected. I didn't, I didn't see what time that bus goes back. Oh, that's good. I'll get you in. Well, um, that's it. <laughs> Excuse my attire. That's us for today. We're um, handing out the chemtrail leaflets. It's just 10 to 5 now, I think it's something like that. And we've got Deansy here who's filming me. Filming you, filming me. <laughs> filming you, filming me, uh, Glenn. Oh, <laughs> we've had a good day. We've had a generally positive result. Um, Deansy, uh, what kind of reaction have you had today from the public that you've spoken to? I'd say better than Southampton, definitely better than Southampton. People definitely more positive in Salisbury. People stopped to chat. People are actually caring about the issue really here. We talked to the BBC, we talked to the mayor, talked to a lot of different people and I think we've got a good message out today. Excellent. Uh, Mark, what, what are you, uh, what, what's your reaction from the, from the public today? Definitely better than Southampton. Really? A lot more Why? Just a lot more interest. I mean, somebody walked, talking to that woman earlier. I mean, she was she was on the ball. She knew exactly what she was. Well, she heard of it. The Indian she, lady. Yeah, the Indian yeah. lady. Yeah, she definitely was interested. It's a few more people like that. Well, hundreds and hundreds more people like that is the goal at the end of this. Uh, yeah. So we got about five, about another five or six hundred out today. Yeah. Leaflets, yeah. and I, I noticed myself. Um, there's generally a lot more interest. Uh, a lot, a lot more interest, a lot of more positive feedback from people. A lot more people had heard of it, and just talking to the mayor and that military guy. The mayor guy, was the big part, of the, the big bit. Where the mayor that, admitted I mean, himself yeah, that yeah, his wife may have been uh, subject subjected to, to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, her fingers swelled up, and she had to have her rings cut off. And yeah, yeah. Glenn, hey. um, another successful day. Definitely, definitely. Tell me about the feedback that you've got from the public today about chemtrails. Uh, it's been. It's been basically got a wide range in its spectrum. Uh, I've had no interest to a mediocre interest to uh, people that are very interested and very aware. Sure. And consciousness is rising. Consciousness is rising and it's, uh, it's warming, you know, very warming. You know, so it's definitely worth getting out and doing this? Yes, of course. Of what, course. what would you say to people who are thinking about doing it? I would say, think, don't think about it, just get out and do it and look at every way in which you can attack this uh, monstrosity which is literally affecting every human need known to us 
So uh, I would advise everybody to uh, start thinking, start feeling and get out there. Definitely. Definitely. Excellent. Thanks, Glenn. Well, thanks to everyone to, for, the, for our help today. For our help, we've helped each other get, get the information out. And uh, here we are. Uh, that's the three of us there. Uh, one, hey. one, two, three, four. I think we're all in shot there. We get, we get a still shot of that sometime. There we go. That, that's the four of us today. So I'm um, signing off from the Free Truth Show with, with Dean Z, Glenn and Mark on our uh, skid day. The Salisbury uh, Chemtrail Info Day. So skedaddle everybody. Bye bye. Woo. Say goodbye folks. <laughs> bye bye. Say goodbye baby. Bye.